So real quick, give me three AI healthcare uh, models in healthcare that 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 you've seen that are that are effective. So you you gave us a mental health. Give us give us a couple more real quick. Sure, I think um, uh, we did mental health. Uh, the patient deterioration that I talked about earlier, patients that are likely to you know crash, uh, patients that are uh, likely to enter a sepsis pathway. So treatment can be you know begun you know earlier. Um, Outside of that, when you're looking at, you know, deep learning, you know, machine learning, uh, finding those, those patients that are likely to be, um, uh, and we're doing this for a state in particular, um, that are likely to be, uh, op have an opioid problem. Um, so if you think about all the different data points that you can bring in and do those triangulations and whatnot, you know, identifying. I think even from a data science, not necessarily an AI, but a data science, you know, finding those those patients within our um, populations that are uh, pre pre diabetic, or that are hypertensive yet undiagnosed. Um, the other UK one of the other UK projects is you know identifying patients that um, are have AFib that are not being treated that are at risk for stroke. Um, so there's a lot we can do with the data that we have. You know, you know initially, and I think that's how you know data science makes its initial wins. 